Hi DIYers, is Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we are going over how to learn a 5834 into a Lynx system. Today we're going to be using the L7000 panel. Uh, the process for this for the L7000, 5210, uh, 5100, it's all the same process, so we're just going to do it on the L7000 today. So, first things first, obviously you're going to go into the tools section from your Lynx. Uh, if you don't see tools as an option, you might see this. You're going to press on security, more, and then tools. Uh, we're going to be entering in our installer code. Ours is still the default 4112. 4112. And then, of course, we're going to go into program. Uh, now, program, since we're using a key fob, we're going to be going into the key section right here. As you can see, we have no key fobs learned in yet. If you did have any key fobs learned in, they would show here in order, saying if you had like a name on it or anything. Uh, so today we're doing add new. So key type, four button, four button key fob. User, you're gonna have to assign this to a user in order for it to work. Uh, if this is just learned in and you don't select a user, it won't let you finish the process. So we're gonna assign this to the master. And then serial number, Going to press on that. Now, if you've done any programming for the link systems uh, before, you know that you can either do manual enrollment, which is you typing in the serial number into the actual panel. The serial number for the fob is located on the back. The A, you do not have to worry about. It's only the actual numbers that you would have to worry about. So we could type it in that way, or uh, what's more preferred is doing the actual auto enrollment. So the auto enrollment, you're just triggering the actual fob. Heard the beat from the panel once again. Two beeps, C has our serial number there, loop number. I'm gonna check the installation guide to make sure. And yes, I was pressing the arm away button, which does learn in as loop number three. So we know that this is picking this up correctly, has the correct serial number, 00104880010488, 0010488, perfect. And then we can either press done or trip this one more time. I'm gonna trip it one more time. And there you go, it kicks us back to the original screen. So we have the serial number there, so we know that the fob has learned in. Uh, doing the auto enrollment also lets you know that it's communicating with the panel. Obviously, if it wasn't working, it wouldn't be able to send that signal. Uh, zone, the fobs go, you know, zones 140 and down when you're learning them in. For the buttons, so we have button one, arm away, loop three per the guide. This guide does come with the fob, so it is uh, pretty important to have this handy just in case. Button two is our disarm button, the open padlock, that is loop number two. Button three, so our arm stay, it's the one that has the person inside the home, that is loop number four. And then button four, this is loop number one. By default, this goes to no response, basically meaning if I pressed that button right there, nothing happens. It just doesn't do anything at all. Normally this is set up as a panic option. So when you go in there, you'll see that you can either have it do something similar to the other three buttons, disarm, arm away, arm stay. Uh, you can have no response if you don't want it to do anything at all, or you can have it be a panic. 24 hour silent for a silent police panic, audible for audible, auxiliary is more of a medical panic, silent burglary, again silent, and then fire no verification is basically a fire panic. Uh, that's going to send a signal saying, you know, you need the fire department there right away. I'm going to set this as a 24-hour silent. Usually, uh, actually, I'll put that back. Usually when I see fobs, it can be silent. There's no issue with that. But with these fobs, there is a small chance of false triggering. Uh, if this is in your pocket, a bag, a purse, anything like that. You know, if you're sitting down and you're sitting on it and it just presses this off and you don't realize uh, since it's set to silent, you would know to go and disarm the system. If it's set to audible, obviously if it's accidentally tripped, it's gonna trigger that, still send out the signal. Uh, so you would have to kind of rush to disarm that, contact your central station, let them know that you know there's no actual emergency, but at least you know that it's going off, so it's not just continuously going off. So we'll do save. We have the fob right there, buttons, uh, zones 140 through 143 for button fob, back, back, Always allow installer to re-enter, so yes, and then back. All right, <clears throat> so besides the low battery, we're ready to arm, so I'm gonna try to arm the system with the key fob. I'm gonna do arm stay. 
and there we go, arm stay. Let's go in there, it's giving us our countdown. And then I'm gonna do a disarm. Perfect. So disarmed, ready to arm. Now my fob worked right away. Uh, if you have programmed the key fob and it's not functioning with the system, even though you've done the auto enrollment, you verified the buttons, the loops, everything, you saved it, added a user code, uh, if you did everything right for programming but it's still not working, you might be having an issue with a high security mode. Now, <clears throat> high security mode, we're going to try to get this on the camera. I'm going to press it here. I'll just do disarm so it doesn't make any noise. The LED here, you see it flashes red. So that means that this is in high security mode. Now, if this was in low security mode, basically the difference is high security is uh, the fob is encrypted. Low security is it's not encrypted. So if it was in low security mode, let me just change it to that. And then press it again. It's green. That might not show too much on the camera, but it's a green LED now instead of red. So I'm going to change that back to high security. We have videos and FAQs explaining exactly how to change this from high security to low security. Uh, it's fairly simple. And then basically, so if it's in high security but it's not functioning with the system, you're going to have to put the system in high security. So quickly I'll show you this as well. So it's tools, installer code. Once again, ours is the default 4112. There is a test option on both. So we're going to go to test for the installer. Gives us more options and we're doing go, no go test. So when you press this, it's gonna kick you back to the screen, go, no go test, so we know that we're in the actual uh, setting. And then basically what you would do is you would activate the fob uh, in a certain way to get it to communicate with this. And then this will give you two confirmation beeps, basically just saying that it's recognized the fob. I'm gonna attempt this right now. There we go. So to do it, you're going to be pressing the top two buttons and the bottom left. So your arm away, your disarm, and your arm stay. You hold all three of those down until you hear that double confirmation beep. Once that's done, I'm going to press on home until it pulls up the keypad. We're going to disarm. One, two, three, four. As you see, go, no go has disappeared. We are back at ready to arm. Let me try to arm the system. There we go, disarm, perfect. So mine worked before, but if yours didn't work after you programmed it, that's basically what you do. So just as a quick recap, tools, installer code, test, go, no, go, it kicks you back to the previous screen. Then you're gonna be pressing on the top two and the bottom right, well, bottom right facing this way, bottom left button, uh, on the key fob, hold those down until you hear a double confirmation beat from this. Once you hear that, press on the home button until you get your keypad. Disarm. One, two, three, four, if it's still yours. And then that would change from go, no, go to Reddit arm. And that's how you put the system into high security mode. You've learned the fob in, you've gotten everything programmed correctly, and now you have a portable device to arm and disarm the system. Uh, not technically remotely, but with a remote. If you did want to learn more about the key fobs, uh, learning them in high security mode versus low security mode, learning into different types of systems, check out our website, alarmgrid.com, and we likely have videos on those as well on our channel. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we release more content.